Hey, hello everyone and welcome to the launch video for the Flutter ShapeMaker Pro. I have been working on this update for quite some time now and I have tried to bring major performance improvements and some really useful and most requested features to the FSM. For those who don't know what Flutter ShapeMaker is, it is a tool made with Flutter which auto-generates the custom paint code for you to use in your apps. For example, we have drawn this Dexter on the canvas and what we can do is we can click on this Get Code button and it will give you this widget code. I'll copy this and go to the app code and in this I'll paste in this custom paint code. I'll set the value of width to 700 or any other value that you like. Now I'll copy this custom painter code and back in the app I'll paste this code right here. Now all I need to do is run the app and when the app runs you can see that we have the custom paint art of Dexter in our Flutter app. If you want to learn more there is the original video for the FSM launch in the description of this video. Now back to the launch of FSM Pro. You can see that right now I'm in the new interface of the Flutter Shape Maker and it is refreshed in comparison to the previous one. One thing you can notice is that some of these sections have a pro tag on them. On the top left you can see that there is live backup which will keep track of the changes that you make on your current project and will constantly back it up on FSM servers so you can pick your project up exactly where you left off. This will really be helpful in cases when the system shuts down and you were working on some project. With this feature, you can easily pick up from the last saved point of the project and start working on it where you left off. Now next one is one of the most requested features that is Symmetric Draw. With this, your canvas will be split based on the axis you choose and everything you draw on one side will get reflected to the other side as you draw. This will make the creation process easier than ever. This was one of the biggest features to release in the Pro version and I'll show you the full power of the symmetric draw in just a few moments. The third biggest feature is the FSM storage. With this, you can store your Flutter Shape Maker projects on the FSM server. So you can access them anytime, anywhere and start working on them where you left off. This, combined with the live update, makes the creation process even smoother and stable. The snap to grip feature has been refreshed for overall better performance. And if we take a look at the layers panel, when you create a new layer, there are new pre-made shapes for you to use in your project and there are a lot more coming. After this, there is another pro feature called FSM Gallery and that will be launching soon based on the input given by the creators. I'll explain more about that at the end of the video. Now let's take a look at the most important features in action. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do to use the Pro features is to create an account by clicking on this login button and then clicking on create account. Now once the account is created and the email address is verified, then you can subscribe to the Pro version and you'll have all the Pro features to use. Now since I already have an account, I'll go to this login and I'll fill in the details. Now as soon as I log in, the Flutter Shape Maker asks if I want to open up my recent work directory. So I'll click on confirm. And with just a click of a button, I'm back at my recent working project. Now let's take a quick look at FSM storage. So I'll go to the storage button right here. And in this you can see that I have multiple projects. You can see that here is the Dexter demonstration that I did on the Twitter. And there are many other projects that I have worked on while creating this update for FSM. So what I'll do is I'll go to this Dexter and I'll just click on this open project. And it will ask me to save my current project. So since it's already saved, I don't have any changes, so I'll discard. And just like that, I have my previous Dexter project and I can take a look at the layers. And here are all the layers and I can zoom in and make the changes as I want to. And as you're making changes, there is this last backup text in the bottom left corner. And this text will tell you how long ago the last backup was taken. So in our case, it was just now. That means it could have been just a few seconds ago. So I'll zoom out of the Dexter for now. So let's create a new project and really take a look at this live backup and symmetric draw. So what I'll do is I'll click on this new file button right here and it will ask me to save my current project. So just in case, I'll just click on save project. And once the project is saved, it will give me with a new canvas. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll give a name to the project. You can see this text field right here. So I'll name this um, heart and I'll update the name. And basically in this we'll be drawing a heart using the symmetric draw feature. So I'll toggle this symmetric draw button. Now as soon as I do that, it asks me against which axis do I want to draw. So just for demonstration, I'll choose the X axis and click on choose axis. Now with this you can see that the left portion of the canvas is for us to draw. And whatever we draw on the left canvas, the same will be reflected on the right side of the canvas. 
So I'll plot a point right here and I'll zoom in a bit and I'll create another point and one point on the bottom right here. And in this particular shape, I have not connected the last point to the first one because what we want to do is we want to join these two parts to create a heart. In that case, we don't want the middle of the heart connected by a line. I'll click on this outer point and I'll use etch to bring out handles. I'll adjust the top handle. I'll zoom out a bit and bring this point a bit closer. I'll adjust the top handle and once I bring this to a right position, I'll use the bottom handle to adjust the bottom curve. And just like this, we have a nice clean heart shape. And you can see a pop-up right here which says this project is not saved yet. Save it now so you don't have to lose any data. So let's say while creating this, the FSM got closed. In this case, if you don't have the pro version and you don't have live backup on, the data will be lost. But since we have the pro version and we have the live backup, so it is a good chance that our data will be intact and we will be able to edit that once we open the Flutter Shape Maker. So I'll open FSM and with this you can see that the shape that we created is intact and even the symmetric draw is on and we can use the layers to create a new layer and as we move the layer it will be reflected to the other side currently I'm using the desktop version of the app but even if I tried to open this on a web version it would behave the same way the live backup data is being saved on the FSM servers so the behavior of the Flutter Shape Maker will be same even if you switch between the platforms now it is not always a good idea to rely on the live backup to save the file. You should always keep manually saving the file to prevent any data loss. So once the symmetric draw is done, all you can do is click on this symmetric done button which is hidden behind this pop-up and it will tell you that all the symmetric layers will be merged. In this case we want to proceed so I'll click on confirm and with this you can see that in the layers panel we have the heart right here and there is circle 1 and circle 2. Now since the heart was joining in the middle, so the symmetric draw merged it into a single shape and the circles that we plotted are at different positions so there are two different layers for them. Now I'll click on the save now button to save the shape. I can rename it to heart 2 or any other name and I'll click on save project. Now once the project is saved you can go to storage and you can see that in the recent project we have this heart 2. One thing you can notice is that in this storage section the projects have this public tag on top. Well, this is in reference to the upcoming feature called FSM Gallery. This feature is not live yet, but it will soon be coming to FSM Pro once there are enough number of users and creations. So how can you adjust this public tag? Well, let me close this storage. And now, if I want to save this creation and I click on Save, you can see that just below the name, it asks me if I want to keep this creation public. And in the bracket, you can see that if we keep this public, it will be eligible for the FSM Gallery and might be used by other developers. So if I uncheck this and save the project and now if I go to the storage you can see that the recent project is now private and it will no longer be eligible to be used by the FSM gallery. All these features took a long time to develop and I hope that the FSM will make the creation and management process a lot easier. And this is just a starting for the FSM Pro. There are a lot more features coming like the support for text and shadows and all these features will be available in the pro version of the FSM. Now since that we have discussed most of the updates in Flutter Shape Maker, let's fill in some colors. So for the circle, I'll fill in the color blue. By the way, if you fill in the colors while using symmetry, they will automatically be filled in the reflections. So you don't have to do that manually. In this case, I'll choose the other circle and I'll fill in a different color. And for the heart, I'll select the layer and I'll select the fill. And in this, I'll fill in the red color. So now all we need to do is we need to go to the good old get code button and in this we'll get the code for the custom paint and I'll go to the app and in this just in the center widget I'll paste in the custom paint code for the width I'll fill in 700 I'll come back to the FSM and this time I'll copy the custom painter code and I'll also paste this in the app. Now I'll select the device and run the app. Now with this you can see that the shape is ready to be used as custom paint in our Flutter apps. I hope you found this video useful and if you do, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also consider following me on Twitter for future updates. See you next time. Peace.